welcome back. So a wind chill advisory in effect for everyone except Adams County until about 9 a.m. on Thursday. It kicks in later on tonight. Kind of stating the obvious right now. It's cold outside. The wind will make it feel cooler with even colder temperatures farther off toward the north and west with a wind chill warning in parts of the Dakota is running until noon on Thursday. But meanwhile, though, back here at home, it's under a mostly cloudy sky right now. You'll notice some sunshine as well. Keep those sunglasses handy again. But meanwhile, we're missing out on a lot of snow farther down toward the south right now in our neighboring state of Illinois where there's plenty of snow falling and definitely causing some travel issues tremendously and a lot of school closures there as well. But zooming things out right now, the cold front right about in here tracking off towards the east and we just can't seem to buy snow right now. We'll have high pressure moving in, keeping us cool and dry for a few days with a little bit of snow that will move in as we head towards Friday. But meanwhile, though, temperatures are cool out there again, single digits for the, for those current temps and even, even areas that are below zero this morning. That's not even factoring in the wind chill. It's about 10 to 15 below this morning, but we are cooler now than at this time yesterday by about 28 degrees, so it's pretty dramatic out there this morning. You can definitely tell a cold front has moved through. Our average high is 23 degrees. We'll do the single digits for the next few days, though, with middle 20 Saturday, so I'll feel a little bit nicer than back into the teens Sunday into Monday, then 34 degrees on Tuesday. The only downside of this number is we'll be melting some snow, which is not good for the snowmobile trails. But otherwise, though, here we are. The winds will stay at around 20 miles per hour for the gusts throughout the daytime today, slowly backing off later on tonight before we're finally calming down as we head towards Thursday, so at least feel better. But tonight will be a cool one out there with the wind involved. Otherwise, though, future cast, mostly cloudy peaks of sunshine today. And gradual clearing coming up later on tonight as we get to say hello to the sunshine tomorrow. So again, sunglasses will be needed and really no chances for snow until we head towards Friday and that chance looking rather weak at this point. Otherwise, though, the winter storm further down toward the south. This is going to be tracking on towards the east throughout the daytime today with a little bit of a break before another little wave of snow begins to move in as we head towards Thursday morning. Once that one begins to move out of here, we'll be done with that. Then here's our little wave of snow right there as we head towards Friday morning. And for us, though, about an inch or less possible there. The heavier snowfall taking place where we have all these winter storm warnings in effect and even some ice storm warnings located there in this shade of color right there. So your forecast for today shows this. 9 degrees, it's Groundhog Day, mostly cloudy, cool, and breezy. That northwest wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour. Later on tonight, 13 below, partly cloudy, still obviously cold out there. That northwest wind getting up to around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. More sunshine on Thursday. Temperatures, temperatures still rather cold. A little bit more snow as we head towards Friday. Again, about an inch or less possible is what we're looking at, at this point. Then obviously, though, not too much on the way anytime soon. A little bit of snow Saturday night and a Sunday. Then the warm-up on Tuesday.